Hi guys and welcome to this really quick video about what you as viewers can do to help us as creators. So I originally did this video on my Instagram Live and Instagram TV video and also on my personal Facebook to show my viewers, my fans, my friends, whatever you want to call yourself, how you guys can help us as creators to become a bigger and better channel to get our content out there and how you can support us in other ways. So I was going to show you and I did in those live videos the analytics that YouTube um, provide for us as creators because they recently changed. I touched on how they were going to change in the monetization or demonetization video um, which I will link here and I wanted to go a little bit more into in depth with that. So analytics they are updated daily and they show you your subscriber count your um view time your watch time sorry your view count and your watch time and just various other things like what people have searched for to find your videos video analytics in themselves so like each video has analytics as well as your channel as a whole and there's probably some other things oh um monetization should you have monetization however like I said, demonetization video touched on this, they changed it recently. So it used to be your subscribers have always been important and your view count. So the view count is what you as watchers uh, see. So that is like this video had 123 views. That's what they used to count as towards what is a successful video. Um, and the more successful video gets shown more and it snowballs and it snowballs and then it's viral and hopefully that will reflect if it's a good enough video in your subscriber count. However, they recently changed it, so about six months ago, they changed it over to your watch time. So that is how much time you as a viewer have sat and had that video playing. So... That is super important because to be monetized, which isn't the end of the world um, for creators, it is nice, who doesn't like earning some money, but it isn't the end of the world. Um, you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you actually break it down to like video time, so say a video is on average 10 minutes long, that's a lot, um, especially if you're a small channel and your videos aren't getting the views to get the watch time. It's this real catch-22 effect. Now, the main thing you guys can do to help increase watch time is simply watch the video. <laughs> I know that sounds so simple, but it's the most effective way. I've had people that say, oh yeah, but I clicked on your video, so it counts as a view. Like. I've seen people do it, they're like, oh yeah, I'll watch that, and they click on it, wait around 30 seconds and click off it. That actually does more damage to our channel and do to our video um, spread than good. So that to YouTube says that this video is a bit rubbish, people aren't sticking around for it, and so we're not going to promote it. So just clicking on the video, waiting 10 seconds, and clicking off is really actually harmful for channels. So what you should do, obviously, you've subscribed to this person, so you're probably going to like what they are putting out. You may not like every video, but you're gonna like them. So watch them. So a little hack is actually, it's easier to do it on your desktop, your laptop, that sort of thing, rather than your phone or um, tablet, is have a separate YouTube tab up, or YouTube page up, mute it, have the videos on in the background, they're not gonna inter interrupt your viewing or anything like that because they're not gonna be creating any sound, but they will still register as a view, as a full watch, and it's those watch time minutes, your average watch time minutes that actually are really counting at the moment. So do that, have it on the background. I'm a bit guilty of this. I don't do it as much as I should, uh, especially for my smaller creator subscriptions, so, I'm actually, I'm going to leave a link of all my favourite smaller um, channels down below and you guys should definitely go and check them out. Um, and so that's really, really helpful to up that watch time. Um, what else can you do? So, 
YouTube looks at reactions and interactions, so a reaction is a like or a dislike, even dislikes, please don't dislike videos unless it's like a really horrendous video, it's violent or it's lies or it's slander or something like that, please don't dislike videos, um, don't dislike it if you just like didn't agree with that product review, don't do it, okay? like it that's a reaction you are reacting to how you feel about that video interactions however are even better that shows that the to youtube that the video is ah, creating a stir creating some talk creating some vibes so leave a comment even if that comment is just like an emoji just a smiley face emoji or just be like great vid or wow you look so happy or oh that lip colour is really nice. That's great. Comments with questions are even better because then that gives the opportunity to the creator to reply and that also counts as another interaction. More interactions means more boost to the video. YouTube is seeing that that is creating that so they're going to push it higher and higher and higher. Higher up the list, more views or to, to the side you're going to see it on more of the... Um, impressions which are the home page like suggested for you things it's going to create more views more views more subscribers more success for the creator we can only do so much as a creator we can only do our best so we try our best to put out the best videos the best content and then obviously the best thumbnails the best titles the best tags there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes of creating a video to make it successful but then there's a, actually just a point where that's all we can do we can always try better but then we do hand, have to hand it over to you as viewers and that's why i wanted to create this video that's all i have to say on that matter if you want to see one that is for social media such as facebook is probably the easiest one for me to do because i know most about that then thumbs up and comment below react and interact guys and obviously subscribe because i now put up videos twice a week on tuesdays and fridays at 11 a.m british time and i hope to see you again soon until next time guys bye bye